China and North Korea seem to overshadow uh, U.S.-Japan trade relations, Steve. Yeah, that's right. Especially in North Korea, the message was pretty clear from Shinzo Abe and Donald Trump that they are uh, unified in their approach towards North Korea. But on China, that's what really struck to me as the main news, and that was that uh, Donald Trump says, and I don't know if he was speaking off the cuff or he had planned to say that, uh, but it was pretty much, uh, we're not uh, ready to do a deal. And he said China probably wishes it took a deal when it had the chance on the table. So that was the main takeaway. Other than, of course, he also uh, dropped the bomb that uh, uh, Japan and the United States are going to go to the moon and Mars together, but that didn't get as many headlines. Uh, maybe down the road that will. Uh, but uh, China obviously reacting quite uh, sharply uh, to this um, assessment from Donald Trump. But China's foreign ministry spokesperson uh, saying, you know, while the White House and those voices in Washington have flip flopped their messaging, Beijing has stayed consistent. For some time, the U.S. has had various voices make comments on China-U.S. trade talks. Sometimes it has said that an agreement will be reached soon, and sometimes that it is difficult to reach an agreement. However, in the same period of time, China's position has always been the same. So, Tom, the two big issues that we really cover uh, right now uh, in this region, trade war and North Korea, of course, right? And both of those issues, Donald Trump signaled he's happy with the progress so far, and he's willing to wait. On North Korea, he said, quote, I'm happy the way it is going. He said there has not been any nuclear tests for a couple of years. The sanctions are still in place. No hurry. Uh, Steve, so we're done with sumo and golf. That was in the weekend. And, of course, he had the bilateral meetings yesterday. What's, what's on the agenda for the U.S. president today? Yeah, he's going to be flying by helicopter out to one of the largest warships that Japan has, the Kaga, which is a helicopter carrier uh, and that also has been refit to accommodate those Harrier-like F-35B uh, uh, fighters, stealth fighter jets uh, that Japan plans to buy from Lockheed Martin. Uh, so he is going to again give a Memorial Day speech to the U.S. troops and also Japanese Self Defense Forces uh, troops there. He's going to fly as well to the USS Wasp to give that address to the U.S. soldiers. But again, defense spending is a key issue here. We know that Shinzo Abe, the prime minister, wants to revise the pacifist constitution. He is going to, mm. you know, there's going to be new elections coming in July to solidify the LDP's position, perhaps as well to push more forward for this pacifist revision of the Constitution. Donald Trump yesterday at the press conference said he fully supports Japan's ability and capability and desire to better protect itself.